Buenos dias, good morning uh, to each and every one of you. First of all, I want to say thank you very much. My name is Mike Gibson. I serve this great community as a California State Assembly member representing the 64th State Assembly District. Soon will be the 65th State Assembly District. And it's great to be here this morning. It's a beautiful morning to be here with the Judy Burton Tech um, Academy. A perfect time to uplift and protect residents, businesses in our beloved Broadway Manchester community. Today, it is my honor um, as the California State Assembly member uh, to present a check for seven million dollars. Seven million. Seven million dollars, the state of California budget um, in investing in this community, the Broadway, Manchester area. I want to uh, pause for a moment um, and also recognize that you will hear from them in a few moments. Uh, the great city council member representing the 8th Councilmatic District, and that is none other than Marquise Harris Dawson, who stands to my right. Let's give him a round of applause. Next, uh, the one who provides great leadership. Uh, on the Los Angeles Unified School District Board of Education, uh, Tanya Ortiz Franklin. Let's give her a round of applause. As we stand here at this great campus, the Judy Burton uh, Tech Academy, I want to also call up our the principal, Mr. Sanchez. Would you please come and join us? Let's give him a round of applause. Our governor and our speaker, Anthony Rendon, we thank them. Um, this historic $7 million state budget check to the city of Los Angeles will begin construction uh, for the transformation of the Broadway South project. Uh, the Green Street project will be redesigned with 2.8 miles, Manchester Avenue and Broadway to create a state-of-the-art uh, active transportation corridor in this area. And let me just pause for a moment. Uh, because I grew up in this community, and certainly um, one who stands as a father who lost his three-year-old son who was killed by hit-and-run motors uh, at three years old, and the perpetrator, she's still out there somewhere. Um, and I'm reminded just 72 hours or three days ago that young Dominique and his mother here on 77th of Broadway, was hit by a drive-by. An individual who struck the mother and Dominique, three years old, and kept going. We asked for someone who knows something, say something, uh, turn yourself in. We give that plea. But this $7 million, make no mistake about it, and I'm grateful to be standing here by this city council member because I believe without a vision, the people perish. This councilman have great vision for this Broadway Manchester corridor to make sure that it's safe for all of our children and residents. And we applaud his tenacity, but his great leadership uh, that he has shared his vision with myself and brought me into the vision. And so I went to Sacramento to make sure we brought money here to this area so that the residents can feel safe so we can transform this corridor as a major thoroughfare in our community. So it'll be safe for all those to walk, those to drive down the street. And so in this area in the late 30s, it was a popular site for the Broadway and 87th Street Shopping Center, whose success um, at that particular time was very paramount. People saw this community as a thriving economic engine in our community. And so I simply want to say thank you very much uh, to our council member, to this community. This community, the $7 million will never be the same. We cannot wait for the construction to start, um, uh, making sure that, one, it continues to beautify and also provide the safety. So at this time, I want to bring up our great city council member representing, again, the 8th Councilmatic District, uh, Councilman Marquise Harris Dawson. Let's give him a round of applause. One more big round of applause for our member of the assembly, Mr. Mike Gibson, from this neighborhood. A lot of times, uh, folks, we are here in the city and we're struggling day to day, and we know we send people to Sacramento to help us, and we send people to Washington, and we don't know exactly what they're doing for us or if they're doing anything for us. Well, you can tell all your friends and everybody you know 
This is what our assemblyman is doing for us. $7 million for Broadway Avenue. And I, I wanna give a I wanna give a public apology to, to Assemblymember Gibson because I remember when you lost your child. I remember that weekend, I remember seeing you at events, I remember having a conversation, looking at looking you in the eye and feeling your, your energy. When I went to him to ask about Broadway, I talked to him about all the pedestrian and bicyclist deaths that we had on the street. And I will confess, because I had forgotten how personal that was for you. I was telling you the data in the past three months on Broadway, three people have lost their lives, three pedestrians have lost their lives, because you know how fast people drive up and down um, uh, Broadway. But I have forgotten how personal that was for you. And so I, I want to uh, one extend acknowledgement and, and apology to you. And again, thank you that much more for coming through for us. So another big round of applause to Assembly Member uh, uh, Gibson. When you're a city council person, this project is going to cost almost $80 million. And so you got to go to the state, you got to go to the county. And sometimes when you go to your elected officials, they say, well, I'll try. Or they say, well, you know, I'll put in a request. Or they say, oh, I'll write a letter. When we went to Mike, he said, I'll take care of it. And here we are today with a $7 million check. In 2016, we began a design process which students from Burton Tech were involved in to redesign the streets. We're gonna take those medians and we're gonna turn them into parks where it's safe for children and young people to play. We're gonna make the lanes thinner so that there's a bike lane and there's a good space for you to walk. We're gonna slow down the traffic. And people are gonna be mad at the councilman, okay? Everybody knows. When we make it so you have to go slower on Broadway, everybody's gonna be mad at the council, so I, councilman. So I need you all to have my back, is that all right? I need you all to say, yes, we asked for this. We wanted it this way. Um, we're gonna work on a number of uh, intersections. There's gonna be housing projects up and down the corner. You see some of the construction already happened. I'm so excited on 94th and Broadway, we're gonna have a brand new grocery store with a butcher and a dairy and a bakery and all the rest of it so we can walk. Uh, we can walk there. We're gonna do housing units uh, for almost uh, 500 people in this space on this uh, corridor. So we're just so grateful uh, to our assembly member, grateful to Burton Tech because you all have been here helping us, these students assembly member and school board member help us keep Broadway clean, keep the corridor clean, keep it safe for everybody, and we're just holding on until we can get shovels in the ground and start building the new Broadway sewer for all of our community. Thank you all so much. Thank you very much, Councilman. Next up, I would like to bring up um, our school board member representing LA Unified School District in this community that we now uh, are part of. Um, that is none other than um, school board member uh, Tanya Ortiz Franklin. Thank you and good morning. Uh, thank you, Assemblymember Gibson. This, this is huge and this is absolutely a collective effort. And I wanna start by thanking the students who are here and who are working on this project for years. Your ideas, your vision improves your community. And I hope you see that when you take action, your leaders respond to you. That's our privilege, that's our responsibility. And so for any of you who are pursuing political science or potentially public service in the future, know that this is a great opportunity to give back to the community that you have all already been making change in. So I'm Tanya Ortiz Franklin. I represent from Florence Firestone down to the San Pedro area. And my district is very diverse. And there are parts of my district that have much greater need and constantly reach out for additional supports. I will say this neighborhood and neighboring uh, communities nearby are constantly asking us for crossing guards, for uh, stoplights, for traffic signals, for ways to slow things down in the neighborhood because our kids need to get to school safely. They need to get home safely. They need safe passages, people looking out for them on the street. And so this is absolutely a crucial component of kids being ready for college and career is having that safe neighborhood uh, tra uh, transportation and, and ability to get to school. So I want to thank the students for being a part of it. I want to encourage you to keep being a part of it. And I want to let our community know that when you raise your voice and you demand things, not only from your schools, but from your city leaders and your state leaders, it is 
our honor to respond to that and to make sure that you can get to school safely and absolutely get your basic needs met. You know, I was talking to some of the students before we started, asking them where they want to go to college because Burton Tech sends right. a lot, a lot of kids to college. Right. <laughs> and they're going to grow the number of college um, earning, uh, college uh, graduates, thank you, college graduates in this area. When you come back from college, you're going to make so much of a difference in this neighborhood. And I'm so proud that they want to go off to UCs and even my alma mater, Columbia, New York, out of state to Wisconsin. They have these big dreams, but they got to get to school safely first. And so that's why we're so grateful for our council member, for our assembly member, to make sure that kids and families are safe on their way to and from school so that you just have to worry about school. You just have to worry about college because that's stressful enough. And I know you're going to do great things in the future. I just want to thank all of the collaborators for making this happen. And I'm really looking forward to seeing the transformation of green space, of joy, of safety, of health in this neighborhood. And I really appreciate all of the work that's gone into this. Thank you all. Thank you very much, school board member. Uh, thank you for being here, you and your daughter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we're happy again to have um, here at Burton Tech uh, Academy um, our principal, Mr. Sanchez. We want to offer up an opportunity for him to say a few yes. words. So give it up for your principal. Thank you. Hey. I just want to say repetition matters. It's what you guys do here. We're out here. You guys are the future. So I want to say, continue to do what you're doing do great things and when you come back make the eight great keep doing what we're doing um without the support from everybody out we wouldn't be where we're doing right now and we've gotten the cross light we've gotten different things from here advocacy is important so make sure you continue to do what we do and with that we appreciate the support thank you thank you, thank you very much mr sanchez um and to all the students who are here um, I will, as long as I'm in Sacramento, I'll continue to advocate for this community. This is a community in which uh, I now stand on shoulders. This is a community uh, that helped rear them because it takes an entire village uh, to raise a child. And I think this community has done good when it raised me. And so we want to make sure that other young people have the same opportunity. Uh, with this $7 million is a down payment on um, the great th things to come to this community. This community will not be forgotten. This community is worth fighting for. Let me say that again. This community is certainly worth fighting for. And I'm grateful that we have some fighters that stands um, next to me, Mr. Sanchez, Artis, and also Tanya Ortiz Franklin, and also our city council member, uh, Council Marquise uh, Dawson Harris. These are your leaders. These are the ones who fight for you each and every day. I'm grateful, and we want to say thank you very much. And guess what? The best is still yet to come. Yeah. So thank you very much. Are we going to take a picture by the... Okay, yeah. yeah.